An AI-powered challenge for Google. Perplexity is repressingly good at admitting when it doesn't know the answer. For my entire adult life, whenever I've had a question about the world or needed to track down something online, I've gone to Google for answers. But recently, I've been stepping out on Google with a new AI-powered search engine. It's called the Perplexity, the year-old search engine whose founders previously worked in AI research at OpenAI and Meta, has quickly become one of the most buzzed about product in the tech world. Tech insiders rave about it on social media and investors like uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, who are also an early investor in Google, have sh uh, showered it with cash. The company recently announced that it had raised $74 million in a funding round led by institution, institutional venture partners, which had valued the company at $520 million. Many startups have tried and failed to challenge Google over the years. One would-be competitor, Niva, shut down last year after failing to gain traction. But Google seems less invincible these days. Many users have complained that their Google search results have gotten clogged with spammy, low-quality website, and some people have started looking for answers in places like the Reddit and TikTok instead. Intrigued by the hype, I recently spent several weeks using Perplexity as my default search engine on both the desktop and the mobile. I tested both the free version and the paid product, Perplexity Pro, which costs $20 per month and gives users access to more powerful AI models and certain uh, features such as the ability to upload their own files. Hundreds of searches later, I can report that even though perplexity isn't perfect, it's very good. And while I'm not ready to break up with Google entirely, I'm now more convinced that AI-powered search engines like the perplexity could loosen Google's grip on the search market or at least force it to play catch up. I'm also scared that AI search engines could destroy my job and that the entire digital media industry could collapse as a result of products like them. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Where it shines, where it shines. At first glance, perplexity's desktop interface looks a lot like Google's, a text box centered on a sparse landing pages. But as soon as you start the typing, the differences become obvious. When you ask a question, perplexity doesn't give you back a list of links. Instead, it scours the web for you and use AI to write a summary of what it finds. These answers are annotated with links to the sources the AI used, which also appear in a panel above the response.